Welcome back to Wanderlusting Lawyer. One of the videos that I have that's most watched is where I announced the winner of the pack I was going to use for the Camino de Santiago because I reviewed several different packs, mostly women's packs and one um, gender neutral pack, unisex pack. Um, and I ultimately chose a bag by Marmot, the Graviton, Gravitron 36. Um, here it is. And in the video, you know, I talked about everything that was important to me and why I was choosing this bag. And I know a lot of you said you appreciated that and you asked how it ended up working out for the Camino. So I wanted to just give a quick update about um, how the bag worked for me and I guess whether I would use it again and maybe any just short pros and cons. Um, so as I said in the video, the, this was the, of all the bags I ordered, this was the first one I tried on and instantly it felt like it fit just in a way that, you know, I knew I was starting with a bag that was going to be hard for other bags to beat. Um, I really like the lightweight structure. It's so lightweight. Um, but this cushioning is excellent right here. The breathable back was so important in those, uh, I walked Camino in July and the end of June and July. Um, and it actually wasn't, it was unseasonably cool, but I definitely still had a lot of hot days. So um, I really, 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 really like this bag. I would definitely walk Camino again with this bag. Um, I think some of the key features that, you know, that I wanted from the beginning and that I knew that remained important throughout the entire Camino were this front stash pocket. Um, I often put like different snacks in there for the day. I always kept my rain uh, coat in there and a, an extra base layer. Um, and also the, I really like the straps. They're a lot less padded than other ones, which I felt um, just didn't dig in as much as other ones might have. I did have sore collarbones for a few days as my body adjusted to the weight but uh, I think that worked better for me. Um, I love all the different compression straps. It really helped to get it down um, if there was any wiggle room to help take that away and keep it feeling very stable on my back. Uh, again, I love these pockets which have um, two entry points so it was so easy to get my bottle in and out. Uh, if you saw my video about how I did um, dealt with water on the trail, I bought the system that has a screw on cap and a tube that can go into pretty much any size water bottle. And I love that, I thought it worked well. But I think what people don't realize, what people might not realize is it actually can be a pain to take your pack on and off. And I tried to avoid doing it unless I had to, like if I was using the restroom or whatever. So whenever I would come to a water source, it was really nice to be able to grab my bottle fill it up and just slip it back in there. Or the same with sunscreen, when I would want to grab more sunscreen and just spray and go. Um, the access accessibility of those pockets was really, really great. Uh, I guess a couple things that I would change about the pack. Um, I wish there was like, I would take a little extra weight for maybe this part here to have a little like, an, for this to have a pocket and maybe a zipper here. I felt like all I had was this this is a very big pocket and I was able to fit a lot of stuff in here and there's an extra zipper pocket inside of it but I would have liked maybe one more external zip pocket um, and I think I mean I, I like the feature that the Osprey bags have with the stow and go here because there were times that I had my poles on the front and I just avoided taking off my pack to get them and grab them just I was being lazy um, these are obviously little nitpicky things but um, I really, so I guess it goes both ways. I love this, the, the structure of this bag with the three zippers because you can access stuff from anywhere. And there were definitely times, I would say with like when I was dealing with blisters that I needed to either pull out my sandals or pull out first aid kit or something like that, that it was so easy to, to unzip it, grab something and slip it right back in. Or like when I would arrive at the albergues in the night I could just grab my shower stuff right away and then deal with the rest of it later. I think that's the downside of a top loading pack is if you have stuff all the way in the bottom, everything in your bag is coming out. Um, but the downside to this pack, I'd say, is that to actually get it zippered, if you have as much stuff as I did, I had a heavier bag. I ended up using almost everything I brought, so I just needed that. But um, is that to get it closed, you have to have it flat 
I mean, in general, you kind of have to have it flat to get it started and then zip around. So it wasn't really a bag that you could load with it standing up like that. I didn't, I didn't have any issues with it, but sometimes in the morning, you don't have, if it's bunk beds, especially in someone's above, someone's below, you're sharing floor space to get ready, or especially if you're up above, is a little bit tough to get it packed um, because you're not, you don't put your backpacks on the bed. So I had to kind of figure out a, a way to get it packed. But um, I think next time I would just try to pack lighter if I could, but uh, I never, it was packed to the brim, like really to the brim a lot of times. And there's like, there's not a single seam that is ripping away, coming undone. Um, I, so for me, that's huge. I think that totally supports the price of this bag. The fact that it held as much as it did. I mean, I probably had sometimes close to 30 pounds with water. I know that's a lot. But the fact that the seams, not a single seam busted. I mean, the zippers themselves are just fabulously constructed, easy to pull. So um, I was really, really appreciative of that. So yeah, I would say that I love this bag. There are little, I guess, fixes I would make if I could, but um, I, haven't, I still haven't seen, unless some new bags have come out recently that I haven't yet seen, I haven't, um, you know, there are no bags that I would pick over this bag. So I love this bag. I recommend it. If you have any questions about specific features, let me know. But I think it's um, super high quality. I personally like the colors. Um, I really, really enjoy this bag, and I think you will too. So you should, you should give it a try. Thanks for watching.